And as you can hear, you can really hear the extra bass. And also the, the tweeters are really popping there. So I think it's definitely better quality sound. And also we can make it a lot louder than before. unboxing installation video for my new LG soundbar uh, SJ3 uh, 300 watts wireless soundbar and wireless subwoofer. I've got the all important scissors here which I'm going to use to open the box. I bought this today. Today is Black Friday so I got a good deal. Uh, I bought it from Curry's for £129. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So as you can see as you can see, what the hell? <laughs> as you can see, we have a power cable. Okay, very important to give power to the system. Uh, a lot of polystyrene. We also have something here known as the manual and the batteries for the remote. Uh, what else do we have? We have a little tiny remote, little tiny tiny remote. <laughs> Okay, so now we have a lot of polystyrene, which I'm not a big fan of, but uh, needs to must be the double drives. <laughs> okay, it can also be used as lightsabers, but be careful at home, if you do that, the pieces will go everywhere. You don't want to make a mess. Now this is the main body of the soundbar itself, and as you can see that also has a built-in power cord. So the other power cable must be for the subwoofer, okay? Because although it's wireless, it still needs power, and the power is from the power cable. Taking it out of the plastic wrapping here, what a beautiful, what a beautiful item! Wow! Look at that. You have uh, some buttons here on off. So you say I can use my phone on it? Yes, that's right. You can connect using Bluetooth from a phone or any device with Bluetooth, and of course we can connect the TV to it as well. So as I was saying, we've got some buttons here, we've got the on-off button, we've got the function button, we've got the minus and the plus. So I imagine that will be for controlling volume and other things. Um, one thing I've noticed is I've seen a sticker um, somewhere. Yeah, here. It says August 2017. So I think that was when, that's the manufacturing uh, date is August 2016 so it's a relatively new product so it'll be interesting to see how good it is so that's the soundbar itself um, I'm just gonna lay that down here for now now we have another piece of polystyrene in there very exciting and um, now we're getting to the good part which is the another piece there. Now we get to the good part, which is the inevitably the uh, inevitably woofer. What is a subwoofer? Now a woofer. Thanks for asking. A woofer is actually uh, a heavy speaker. Is it the thing where you feel the bass? That's right. It's used to generate the bass sounds uh, in sound and music. So basically, all the bass tones will be provided by this woofer and all the high high tones will be provided by the tweeters I got a song we, we should test it after yes we'll test it after we'll test it with some uh, once we've installed it we'll test yeah. it with some boosted music some bassy music and wow look at so that yeah, material yeah it's, it's like an old style speaker okay so you can see here it's got LG the, the make um, again August 2017 so it's a very new product you can see here the hole which is a good thing for what? because that's where uh, that's important for a woofer oh yeah so the sound goes through there's a the pairing fence. button here so I think we're going to use that to pair it with the soundboard uh, with the soundbar and this is the AC in so that's where we plug in the power cord okay so I'm just going to put this down here 
for now. And then, uh, good housekeeping, put some of these back in the box so we can deal with them later. Thank you. So, I think what we need to do is actually, um, what do we need to do? Well, what we need to do is... Okay, so, as you can see, we've cleared this shelf now. It's important to have a space for your subwoofer. Um, we decided to put it underneath. Apparently, the, the Wi-Fi hub or the wireless router can affect the Bluetooth signal. So, we'll try it there. If there's a problem, we can always move it. But um, that's a good thing to remember when you're setting up your soundbar. So, as you can see, there's some features here. ASC, adaptive, adaptive sound control. That means it can adjust the sound to the kind of thing that you're listening to. Control with your TV remote. Um, so that's quite a nice feature. Bluetooth standby. Bluetooth standby. So that's quite a nice feature. SoundSync wireless. So that's the LG SoundSync technology which the TV also has because um, we've got an LG TV Bluetooth so any Bluetooth device can connect to it I'm going to leave the sticker there for now but I'll probably take it off eventually so I think we need to now start going into the um, we need to start going through the startup ok so I'm just uh, unwrapping the power cord of the sambar from its wrapping so that I can plug it in. There's a little plastic uh, thing to cover the pins there. And a little cable tie, which I need to remove. Just by twisting, very easy. No need to cut it. Uh, just put that there for now. So we're gonna have it here on this shelf. Where's the subwoofer go then? Somewhere else. It can go right here. But well, it has to have power, so that's the thing we have to think about. So I'm just going to move this out. <coughs> it's plugged in now, we can see that there's a light. They say it's wireless, but in reality, this is a wire, people. This is a wire. Uh, so what they mean is the sounds travel wirelessly, but the power does not. So it still needs to be plugged in. Um, so bear that in mind when you're planning where to put your soundbar, where to put the woofer. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it... Let's try having it in this corner over here. Do we have any plugs here? We do. Oh wow, that's such a good spot. So let's go and move my guitar for now. Have you paused it? Are you filming this? Yeah. What's that got to do with it? Right. Now this is the cord. I can time lapse it. So I've got the woofer here. I'm just going to plug it in. So I'm going to plug this the, to the back of the unit, like so. Can you see that? So it's plugged in. Plugged in firmly, okay. And I'm going to put this on the floor. But make sure you don't scratch it when you're putting it in place. I'm just going to put it there for now and plug it in. So to pair the woofer with the unit, all I did was plug in the woofer and the little LED on the back, let me show you. So the little LED on the back, which is green, it was flashing, okay? So now it's, it's, and then to pair it, all I did was turn the unit on. So I went to the main unit over here, and I turned, pressed the on button, and then I went back to the woofer, 
and then the green LED was just continuous like this. So when it's like this, it means it's paired successfully. Okay. So that's how to do the pairing. All right. So now we've paired it. We need to connect the device to something that gives sound. So what we're going to do is. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to just install the hands, the uh, the remote. Not really install. We're just putting in the batteries. So we take it out of the plastic cover it comes in. Okay, really teeny tiny. And then we take off the back like so. It's got a little tab there. You just press it in, press it in, and it comes out really easily. Okay, and then these are triple A batteries. Widely available from all good outlets. Power on. From all good battery outlets. But they do provide you with two batteries to start you off. So I'm sure they'll last quite a few months, I would think, before you need to replace them. So you fit them like this. You see where it says the, the, the minus and the plus? So the plus is, is this part with the sticking out bit, and the minus is that part. So that's the way you put it in. Against the spring, and the same is the opposite way around for this one. Okay, there we go. Put the back back on. See this little tab? It goes in there, and then we just click it in place. There we go. So now that is switched on. So now let's test it. So I'm going to turn it off and see if it goes off. See, so the it's gone off now. I think. Yep. No light. Yep. So so it's just a red light, nothing on the other display. So I'll turn it on again. There we go, so that flashes and comes on. It's currently set to optical mode, it looks like. So, next step to do is to set up the, the wireless sync with the TV. In my case, I've got an LG TV. So hopefully it should be really easy. It, it should use the same technology. So both devices can communicate with each other quite, so we're gonna quite do easily. A, we're gonna do a before and after. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do a before and after. Um, test of the sound. So we're going to play a video on YouTube uh, and choose some sound. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to play how it sounds currently, just coming from the TV speakers. Apparently this is what you kids listen to these days. Okay. Okay, so that's a demonstration of that one. Okay, so now I'm going to set up the TV to connect to the wireless soundbar. So what I do is I press uh, settings. So here we have the settings button on my TV remote. And it brings up this menu along the side with these icons. So I'm going to go down with the down arrow. Um, I think it's sound, but it's not. It's going bang. So I press OK on those hands. And it brings up this menu. Again. So now I'm going to go down to sound here. Um, and then sound out. We need to select uh, LG Sound Sync Wireless. So if you want to connect using optical cables, which is another option, you need to buy the cable, it doesn't come with the soundbar, but you can use that option and then here you would select that option here. Um, but we're going to do it wirelessly, so uh, I'm just going to press OK. And then it comes up with a button saying device selection, OK? So I'm going to click OK and hopefully it will come up with a list of devices. Let's see if it does. Moment of truth. Maybe we need to set this to to wireless or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to set it to Yeah, Bluetooth. you need to put it in pairing mode. Bluetooth, don't we? Okay, so as you can see the device selection comes up. Now what we need to do first though is on the soundbar, see this screen here. So you've got optical can they see the optical USB Bluetooth? 
and LG TV and portable. So LG TV, as you can see these markings here, both lights have to be on for LG TV and for portable both lights have to be on as well. So what we're going to do is, on the remote, we're going to press the F button to change function, okay? So look at the screen, I'm going to press it once, it goes to USB, that's not what we want, it goes to Bluetooth, that's not what we want. Okay, so now we've set, we press F, so these two lights have come on, which is, means LG TV. So now on the TV, we press OK on device selection, and it should hopefully find the device. There we go, LG S, S uh, J3. So I think we have to let it finish searching. So now, uh, so what we need to do is select it like that. So I uh, selected it, I pressed OK, and now you see it's moved to the paired device section. And it's saying it's connected in the corner. So hopefully now, when we try our sound test YouTube video again. That's why I just thought I and as you can hear, you can really hear that extra bass and also the, the tweeters are really popping there. So I think it's definitely better quality sound. And also we can make it a lot louder than before. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I've demonstrated how to set up the LG uh, SJ3 300 watt soundbar with wireless subwoofer. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please like the video. It means a lot to us. Please share it and please subscribe for more how-to videos and comedy or music videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.